Hello my friends, so I welcome all of you light workers, star seeds and wanderers to this session. In today's session I have channeled the Pleiadians to ask about very interesting questions. Uh, firstly about what is the truth about the UFOs uh, which were recently cited in Las Vegas by many of the families. They claimed to have seen UFOs in their backyard which is all over the internet and also the truth about the whistleblower known as David Gruss who has come out with stating that the uh, United States government is in possession of you know uh, alien spacecraft and alien bodies so we find out the truth in the session also in the session they I have asked about what is a soul group and what is the purpose of a soul group and how can we identify our soul group in this planet in this incarnation and finally, towards the end, I have asked about the soul evolutionary journey of Eckhart Tolle, who is a spiritual teacher of the uh, present moment awareness kind of thing. Um, so you will understand about that. It is mind-blowing and amazing. I want to say thank you to all of you who have joined me on my Patreon, where we have uh, many sessions which are censored by YouTube and also we do meditations to help the planet and if you want to dive in deep into ascension I highly recommend you join our community on Patreon the link is on the description and before the session begins I want to say thank you to all of you for um, liking this video because with your simple like it will help it to reach to other people which may help them uh, in their spiritual journey and help them change their life so with your like you're doing a positive action and a positive uh, service to humanity so thank you so much for that and enjoy the session my friends we are the Pleiadians and we are now in communication at this time through this instrument's internal throat energy center which has allowed our communications to reach the human collective consciousness at this time for the purpose of advancing our message to the human collective in order to allow for a greater level of understanding about the aspects regarding the queries which are placed before our consciousness. We the Pleiadians before starting our sharing of information will state that discernment is required when listening and trusting our messages and communication which will allow only those thoughts to be accepted which are found to be true within your heart. Furthermore, it is time for us, the Pleiadians, to state that humanity must be ready for what is coming in the coming days. There are events which will happen in the earth planet that will change the trajectory of the consciousness stream of the earth's planetary core furthermore we shall discuss about that in the later portion of this session however we shall now firstly address the query related with the understanding of how to differentiate a real unidentified flying object from a alien civilization with a project blue beam ufo which was created by human social memory complex we must state that there is but one factor which can be used to differentiate this aspect usually the so-called unidentified flying objects that can be seen by the eye complex as well as those which can be sensed by your systems of capturing the outside illusion complex may be composed of two types of ufos the first one are those which are created artificially by the process known as reverse engineering of some of the 
so-called spacecrafts of civilizations which were found prior to the Earth planets, which had landed accidentally on the Earth planets due to a malfunction and they are trying to replicate this through a project known by your people in the vibratory sound complex terms as Project Bluebeam. Furthermore, there is also another type of sighting which can be seen, which may primarily traverse the known physical systems of the aspects of the rules of physics or science as known in your space-time illusion complex these ufos are able to traverse and perform activities which may not be considered possible by any human made aircrafts these are those types of crafts which are primarily the crafts which are from a extraterrestrial entity who is visiting earth for the purpose of fulfillments of their mission furthermore we the pleiadians must also answer the query related with the recent sighting of a ufo wherein the entities of your planet claim to have seen aliens on the backyard of their house in the locations known by your people as las vegas we must state that the recent sightings were primarily of those entities known as the members of the orion social memory complex who had primarily entered the earth inner core for conducting a type of cyclical imbalance in the earth planet furthermore there is a ongoing inner earth battle which is happening at this time and we must warn humanity of what is about to happen in this time will not only have effect on the outside world with the aspects of changing others but also the attribute of causing a release of karmic imbalance by the earth's crust therefore we must state that in the coming days there may be massive changes in the atmospheric levels as well as in the weather conditions in certain locations because of the spiritual inner earth battle which is happening at this time wherein the astral command social memory complex have united with the positively oriented agarthans in order to try to defeat the reptilians and the orion social memory complex who have entered the earth planet at this time we can sense that the battle is still ongoing furthermore we the pleiadians must also answer another related query which has been placed regarding the vibration of what is the truth about steam whistleblower as known by your people known as david crush who has come out with information regarding possession of unidentified flying objects in the so-called the united states location furthermore we the pleiadians must state that the entity known as David, on scanning its vibration, we find that the entity claims are correct. However, we must state that the entity also has a vested interest in this aspect of trying to release this information which is for the protection of its own self. Furthermore, the entity also has come in direct contact with many of these beings during its so-called interaction with the unidentified flying objects. Hence the answer is correct. The other query relates with what is a soul group and what is its purpose and how does it work? 
We the Pleiadians must state that the concept of a soul group is a beautiful and a profound one. Furthermore, within the grand tapestry of existence, a soul group refers to a collection of souls that are energetically collected through a shared purpose, journey or vibrational resonance. These souls are incarnating together in different timelines for the purpose of supporting and assisting each other in their spiritual growth and evolution. Furthermore, a soul group is like a family of souls who are bounded together by a deep sense of connection, love, understanding, and a spiritual unification. These soul groups act as companions and co-creators embarking on various experiences and lessons together to facilitate their individual and collective expansion. Furthermore, the members of a soul group are not bound by the constraints of time and space. They may incarnate in different roles, relationships, and in different dimensions or planets. However, their energetic connection remains the same and remains strong. Each member plays a unique role within the group contributing their gifts, talents, and lessons to the collective. Learning and growth, the purpose of a soul group is of a multifaceted nature. They are primarily concerned with providing support, guidance, and unconditional love for one another, acting as members to reflect and eliminate aspects of the self which require attention or transformation through their interactions, challenges, and shared experiences they are able to assist each mind body and spirit complex in the remembrance and the embodiment of the true spiritual essence it is vitally important to know that soul groups are unlimited and not limited to human beings alone they can consist of a diverse array of beings from different realms dimensions or even from other planetary spheres who are of a collaborating nature and learning together on a spiritual level to recognize the unity of the one creator the recognition of your soul group can bring a sense of belonging purpose and interconnectedness to the spiritual journey it can allow for a deeper understanding of the relationships and the dynamics which unfold in your incarnation as well as a greater appreciation for the lessons created by the souls you encountered all of you must remember that you are never alone in your soul group it is always with you supporting you in your pathway even if many of you may not be consciously aware of it all of you must trust with your mind and the plan of your incarnations and experiences and embrace the love and the connection which flows between you and your soul group the other query relates with what is the simple method or technique to recognize the other members of the soul group we the pleiadians must state that recognizing the other members of your soul group can be a deeply personal and intuitive process however we must state that there are several methods which can be used to enhance your recognition and connection with your soul group furthermore the first method is to trust your intuition since your intuition is composed of your feelings and other attributes which is a powerful way of recognizing your soul group members you must pay attention to your inner knowingness and your gut feelings and the strong resonances when you meet individual entities 
You must trust the feelings of, the sense of deep connection which may arise. The second method is to look for recurring patterns or experiences. Notice if certain experiences, catalysts, or lessons consist simply so up in your incarnation. This is primarily because many a time soul groups share common lessons and catalysts or experiences across various incarnation lifetimes. The other method is to follow your passions and interests of your deep soul. It means that your soul group members may also share similar passions and interests or other pursuits in the illusion complex. This will allow you to find your soul group members who are also come into these areas with interest, creating opportunities for connections to emerge. The other method is to pay attention to the synchronicities and signs and meaningful coincidences can be signs from the universal complex that you are, trusting the power within the soul group members. By becoming aware of these synchronicities, you will find and be guided towards encounters and connection with the right soul group members. The other query relates with how many soul group are present on the earth at the space time. We must state that the number of soul groups present on earth in any given space time is vast and dynamic. It is difficult to provide an exact number as the soul groups are constantly evolving and new ones may emerge while others complete their collective journeys. Furthermore, the diversity of experiences of lessons on the Earth planetary sphere gives rise to numerous soul entities and groups, each with its unique purpose, energy, and dynamic. Therefore, the aspects of precise number of soul groups on the Earth cannot be ascertained by our social memory complex. However, the most important matter is that the quality of connection and growth within your own soul group by focusing on cultivating love, unity, and a shared purpose with the souls who resonate with your vibration and find a deeper connection that will collectively contribute to the expansion and evolution of consciousness of Earth and beyond. The other query relates with the aspect regarding the soul evolutionary journey of an entity known by your people as Eckhart Tolle. We the Palladians shall now answer this aspect firstly the entity known as Eckhart Tolle was incarnated in this current timeline of 1948. And the entity is an entity who had incarnated primarily as an entity with a simple and a normal life cycle as a star seed. In the beginning stages of this incarnation, the entity faced many struggles, which often led the entity to question its existence furthermore. It struggled with the aspect of handling the catalyst found in the mind complex, as well as those found in the outside illusion complex. And furthermore, because of this aspect, the entity was then, at the age of approximately 29 years in its space-time experience of the current incarnation, underwent a soul swap while in a so-called location known as a church. In the location, the entity who was requesting for guidance from the universal social memory complex or the creator, and it was granted this by allowing its soul to be soul swapped by an angelic social memory complex from a 
Archangel, Michael, Social Memory Complex, therefore the entity known as Eckhart Tolle in this current incarnation at the space-time is a essence of the Archangel Michael Social Memory Complex with main purpose of helping in the spreading of the message of peace and love and light. Furthermore, prior to this incarnation, it was found in the lands of, as known by your people. Looking back in its star seed timeline, we find that the entity in the lands of Africa had incarnated at the space time of 1604, as known by your people, wherein it learned the lessons of farming and survival, and it was known as Ikoto. Furthermore, this incarnation led the entity to learn about serving others and, through its inner choice, it made a sacrifice of helping others even though it did not have much in its possession. It was able to help others in that timeline which enabled it to find a suitable balance in the incarnation. However, it was not yet fully able to awaken in that time as it crossed over at the age of around 59 years at that timeline. And prior to that, it was found in the lands of, as known by the location as the planet of the Arcturus B, wherein the entity spent its beginning third density lessons learning about self-awareness for 11 incarnation cycles. And then, in the second density, it spent its timeline as a entity similar to that of the pets found upon your planet as the cats, wherein it learned about growth and awareness and prior to that it was found in the first density experience as a water element it was known as to in the language terms which meant to be grounded in consciousness hence the entity's originations began in that planet at the time of 608 million years ago furthermore we the Pleiadians must state that the process of awakening which has helped this entity the most is the process of using a method of training its consciousness. The simple method used by the entity as a card after its soul swap which allowed it to spread the message was simply to observe where the attention or the focus of awareness is and to try to keep the focus of attention or awareness on that point for an extended period of time and even if the attention of awareness changes to a different location try to keep it and the location for as long as possible was the simple exercise which allowed it to master its own self and be a vessel of light and love. And we the Pleiadians now leave you. Bye. Thank you so much my friends for watching this video and I want to say thank you to all of you for liking and subscribing to my channel as well as Thank you for all of you for uh, sending me your own past life, your soul evolution and your soul's purpose or any other questions you may have on my email. I will channel for you and also I want to say thank you to all of you for downloading the free PDF of my sessions transcripts which you can read for free and also you can get the book of channeling sessions transcripts. Uh, which is available on Amazon. The link is on the description. And also I want to say thank you to all of you for watching my interview with Nick and uh, friend Dylan. Uh, the link is on the description. And I hope you enjoy this session. And I think you'll enjoy this session over here. Thank you, my friends.